everyone welcome to coders camp we are at 29th day of july lead code challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is 01 matrix so the input given here is a two dimensional integer matrix and we have to return the distance of the nearest zero for each cell and the distance between two adjacent cell is one so let's understand this with an example so here is our given example we have to return the output in the form of an integer matrix as well so here we have our output and we have to return the distance between each cell to the nearest zeroth cell. So if you observe in the first row, all values are zero. So they are zero themselves. So the distance is going to be zero. Same way in second row, there is zero, one and zero. So as I said, both zeros are going to have zero as their value because they themselves are zeros. Considering the, the middle cell one, where the nearest zero is one cell apart in both the sides so we can put whichever is the minimum since both the distance are equal any value would be okay so here as they said the difference between a cell and its adjacent cell is always one so one zero is present to the very adjacent cell of one so the distance is going to be one so that is what we are putting here the same applies to the last two ones in the last row so because zeros are available exactly one row apart from each one. So here comes the last one in the middle of the last row where the adjacent values to this one in all three directions are going to be one again. So it is definitely going to be more than one for the distance. So we have come this way. The distance is one. And from here to one more adjacent cell, the distance is uh, the value is 0 so the distance is again 1 more 1 1 plus 1 2 and we have reached 0 so same way if you apply uh, through the upper direction it is going to be the distance of 2 again same way if you go towards left and then one more step to reach 0 it is going to be 1 plus 1 2 so in all direction the distance is going to be 2 so 2 is the minimum distance from this one to its nearest 0 so that is what we are updating here and this is going to be our output so how are we going to approach this so we can go for a brute force approach where it iterates the matrix every time to find the nearest zero and update the value but that is definitely going to take us a quadratic time or even exponential time to finish it so the optimal way is breadth first search so we have seen similar problems before wherever there is a matrix and we have to find the shortest path or longest path of destinations we always go for bfs technique we are again going to use a simple bfs to solve this problem so let's get into the logic now as i said we are going to approach this problem using bfs in simple bfs if we are trying to do a bfs and update the values for each cell then again it is going to time limit exceed so in order to avoid that we are going to first change the non-reachable cells to minus 1 or the maximum value or however you like instead of zeros and 1. So first step is to update the values to minus 1 and instead of starting from the cells we have to update the length we are going to start from the cells whose values are 0. So from 0 we are going to trace the reachable cells and update its distance. So first the cells having value zeros are 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0 and 1, 2. So now from this cells we are going to start and find the reachable cells and update its distance. Since the values whose uh, value is 0 already are not going to change anyway in the result matrix we are not going to touch the cells with value 0. So from 0, 0, what are the cells that we can reach? So from this 0, 0, we can reach the adjacent cells uh, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 0. They both are already having zeros, so we don't have to really update anything using 0, 0. Instead, we are just pulling it off from our queue. So the next cell is 0, 1. So from 0, 1, what are the cells we can reach? So here the cells we can reach is 0, 2 which is again having a 0 and then 1, 1. So now 1, 1 is having minus 1 which means it has not been updated by the value already or it is 0. So 
we have to update its value. So in that case, we are going to update what is there in 0, 1 plus 1. So because this cell is connecting directly from the cell we are iterating, that is 0, 1. So what is there here is 0. So we are going to update its value plus 1, which is nothing but 1. So now in the middle cell, the value is going to be updated to plus 1. So now the value or the job of 0, 1 is also done. So we are removing that from 0, 1. The same way 0, 2 is also having uh, 0 neighbors. So that is also done. Moving to 1, 1, 1, 0. So from 1, 0, the values you can change is 2, 1 and 1, 1 again. So in this case, 1, 1 is being already updated in the previous step. So we are not going to touch that value. How are we going to identify it? It, it is not minus 1. So whichever having minus 1, we are going to touch only those cells. So now we are here at 2, 1 where the value is minus 1. So we iterated it from 1, 0. So what is there in that cell plus 1 is going to be updated here. So this also being updated to plus 1. So the job of 1, 0 is also done. So moving to 1, 2. So 1, 2 is 0. Its neighbors are 1, 1 which is already updated and 2, 2. So here we are iterating from 1, 2. The value is 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So we are updating this cell as well to 1. Since whenever we are updating the value, we are going to add those cells as well to the queue. So we have updated 1, 1. So these are the updated cells and 2, 1 and 2, 2. Sorry, 2, 0 and 2, 2. So we are done with 1, 2 as well. So now it's time to pull 1, 1. So from 1, 1, what are the cells we can reach whose values are minus 1? There is only one cell which is minus 1. So from 1, 1, we can reach this cell. So we are going to update what is the value in that cell plus 1. So that cell is already having a 1, which means the next cell must be 2, which is nothing but we can have, we can reach the nearest 0 with a distance of 2 because all we could reach is 1 from this cell. So this is the first cell we could reach to 2, 1. So we are updating it to 2. So yes, this is also done. So we don't have any other cells left with value minus 1. So we are stopping our iteration here and this is the value we are going to return overall. So this is going to work in big O of m cross n time complexity as we are iterating the cells with values only minus 1 and updating its value in the same cell. So yes, this is it. Let's go to the code now. So here's the code for this problem where as I said, we are going to first iterate the given matrix and whenever there is a 0, then we are going to update those coordinates to our Q. If not, if it is having a value, then we are going to update it to minus 1. So first, uh, we are just picking the 0 cells and uh, we are going to iterate from them. So, so here I have declared an uh, integer array to point at the directions, which is nothing but all four directions uh, to find the neighbors who are having the value minus 1. And we are going to pull each coordinates from our queue and add the directions to find our new neighbors of that cell. So if the neighbor cell is not is equal to minus 1 and not within the range, we are going to simply ignore it. Not equal to minus 1 means that value must be 0 or that has been already updated with some value. If not, then only we have to update that cell. So we are going to update its value from which value we have iterated it plus 1 and add it to the end of the queue. And once all the coordinates are pulled out from our queue and all the cells are updated and once all no cells are left with minus 1, we are good to return that array matrix as a result. So yes, this is it. Let's run and try. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, our solution is accepted. And runs in 11 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.